You're watching NFL Daily. Mitchell Rents here from Chat Sports. And before we get into me trying to figure out which coach is about to be fired next, I wouldn't be able to do today's show if it wasn't for our awesome sponsor, Magic Spoon. If you're looking to get your hands on some great tasting cereal, 13 grams of protein, 4 grams of net carbs, and 0 grams of sugar, dude, all you got to do is this. Go to magicspoon.com slash chat. Or if you can't remember that link, look down in the comments and also look down in the description. I got your back. Now, the Raiders, they ended up moving on from John Gruden, or you could say that John Gruden stepped down. Either one, he's no longer the head coach of the Las Vegas Raiders, and the Raiders now have Rich Basaccia as their interim head coach. So I decided, you know what? I want to be able to make a segment about trying to predict which NFL coach is going to be on the hot seat next. And the way that I decided to do this is I ranked them from five all the way down to one, and I'm going to give you all those reasons coming up here in just a little bit. But before I do again, let me know down in the comments right now why for yes or I want you to go ahead and type N for no. Should Gruden still be the head coach of the Raiders? Why for yes and for no? I am going to go ahead and say and for no, I believe the Raiders did the right thing. Do I think that Gruden is a bad person? No. Did he say some bad things? Yes. Do I think he was a scapegoat? Kinda. Bottom line is this. Al Davis would have never stunned for it. So therefore, I'm going to go ahead and type no. So the way that this is going to go is I'm going to go from five and work my way all the way down to one. So the person that's one is the coach that I think is the most likely to get fired next. And if, as always, if you guys disagree with me, please Go down, yell at me in the YouTube comments. We're always looking. At number five, I'm going to go with Riverboat Ron because, well, he's not really Riverboat Ron. If anything, he's conservative Ron now. And I get it. Washington, they're two and three this season. And coming into this year, I really thought that Washington was going to be able to compete in the NFC East. Here's the issue. This team doesn't have a good offense, and their defense might even be worse. I have been on record on Chat Sports and on other shows as well saying that I believe that the Washington football team is going to have a top five defense. Well, instead of Washington football team, they're left me scratching my you-know-what saying WTF because they can't stop anybody right now. So could Ron Rivera in a tough division be on his way out? And also, when you look at some of these schedules here, man, I mean, you got week six up against the Chiefs, loss, Packers, loss, Broncos, loss, Buccaneers, loss. Like, I don't know when they're going to win their next game. Panthers, yeah, it's probably going to be a loss. Seahawks, are they going to have Russell Wilson back by that time? They do, loss. Raiders, loss. Cowboys, loss. Like, I literally do not know when the football team, get a freaking name already, is going to win their next game. And if you were to ask me, hey, how many games do you think they're going to lose in a row? My guess is this. They're going to lose the next eight games. And if I'm wrong on this, and if anybody is a fan of the football team and you want to yell at me on Twitter, you want to yell at me on Instagram for any of these hot takes I'm about to have, please bring them on in. The DMs are open. But because I think Washington right now is 2-3, and three, they're going to lose their next eight games, 2-11, and 11, that's going to put Ron Rivera on the hot seat. So let me know, y'all. This is going to be the pinned comment of today's video. So every person that comes across this, this is going to be the top comment. So you're about to get hit with a YouTube ad break. While that ad is playing, I want you to scroll on down and let me know who's going to be the next head coach that gets fired. At number four, I'm going to go Mike Zimmer of the Minnesota Vikings. I don't really think that Minnesota is going to be able to compete in this division. Not that I'm overly confident in Chicago. Not that I'm overly confident even in Green Bay at times. But Zimmer is 66-50-1. The issue is he's 9-12 the past two seasons. Dalvin Cook continues to be banged up. I don't know why they gave Kirk Cousins all the guaranteed money they have. Sure, he's been a lot better. But if Minnesota can't win a playoff game, here's the other issue. They're not going to make the playoffs. The Vikings are 0-3 in the playoffs with Zimmer. That simply cannot happen, right? And when you really think about some of these things that are breaking down going on from here, you got Magic Spoon, they're killing it. Maybe Magic Spoon could actually help Mike Zimmer and actually could maybe help Dalvin Cook put on some extra pounds, put on some extra muscle here to be able to get things going. I don't know, maybe I'm crazy. But bottom line, if you guys are looking for a great healthy cereal that you can be happy to give your kids, go to magicspoon.com slash chat. I personally recommend the variety of four pack I love Frosted. The cinnamon's amazing. I just tried the cookies and cream the other day. You're sitting there eating this, and you're like, how in the world 
is this stuff healthy for you? My answer is I don't know. I'm not a doctor. All I know is it tastes really freaking good. Here's also a pro tip that I got to give a shout out to Chase for. He ends up mixing the cocoa with peanut butter, and he makes these like peanut butter crazy balls. It's like nuts how good this stuff is. Go to magicspoon.com slash chat. $5 off your very first order. When you look at the Vikings schedule, you're sitting here right now. Okay, you're two and three. You go up against the Panthers. Then you get a bye week. Then it's the Cowboys. Then it's the Ravens. Then it's the Chargers. Then it's the Packers. 49ers. The first time I can sit here and say, maybe they have a chance. Week 13 against Detroit and, sorry, Micro Mike, uh, <laughs> They almost lost to the Detroit Lions before. Week 14 against the Steelers. That could be a tough game. Bears, Ram, Packers, Bears again. The bottom line is this. If you're already hearing Vikings fans say, maybe Mike Zimmer needs to get the heck out of there, and they're 2-3, and three. and if I'm about to say that I think they're going to lose their next six games, not a mathematician, but 2-9 and nine is not going to make very many people happy. Now, sure, maybe they get a game in there that they win, and I'm, and I'm going to be a loser for it. But you know what? If I were, again, to sit here and bet on which teams I think are going to win, I'm not going to go ahead and bet on the Minnesota Vikings. Now, when I started today's show, we were 125 people away, 125 subs away from getting to 265,000. I would really appreciate it. If you guys haven't yet, please go ahead and hit that sub button. We go live every single Monday, Wednesday. Also, the guys are doing shows on Thursday now for any given Thursday. If there's breaking news, we got you covered. Plus, we're an interactive show. So if you're watching right now, please, all I ask, hit that sub button. Let's go to number three on my list of head coaches. That could get fired next. I'm going to go with Brian Flores. And Brian Flores, I thought, was in the running for Coach of the Year in 2020. And it's kind of amazing how quick things can change, right? Dolphins are 1-4 and four this year after going 10-6 and six last year. Tua, he doesn't really seem to be the answer at quarterback whatsoever. I mean, if I'm being 100% with y'all, I've kind of been a little bit more impressed with Jacoby Brissett than Tua, and that's a major, major problem. The other issue is this. Not only is Miami losing games, they're ha they haven't been competitive in way, way too many games, right? I mean, they are dead last in the league right now in point differential, minus 75 on average, Miami who, by the way, has at least one win, is losing games on average by 15 points. They look bad on offense. They look bad on defense. And I'm going to sit here and point the finger at Brian Flores. So realistically here, when you look at some of these games that they got coming up, you got week six at Jacksonville and London. If they don't win at six or Jacksonville game, let's say they do lose that and they go to one and five, the seat is about to get turned up really, really warm on his butt. Now, Falcons... Again, a winnable game. You're not beating the Bills here. You lost 35 nothing to. And then week nine up against the Texans. I mean, you better come away with two wins at the absolute least out of these next four. Or else, the Brian Flores chance to get the heck out of there, they're about to get louder. So the last three teams that I talked about here, the Washington football team, the Minnesota Vikings, the Miami Dolphins. It's not always fair, I think, when coaches do get the boot because some of these teams are either in bad cities, they don't have as much money here and there. There's different scenarios that coaches get put into. But out of the three teams that you see on screen right now, who do you think's the worst? The Washington football team type W, the Minnesota Vikings type V, the Miami Dolphins, go ahead and type D. At number two, Joe Judge of the New York Giants. And this one, again, when you're playing in the NFC East, there's a lot of attention in that division. And on top of that, you're playing in New York. Sure, East Rutherford, New Jersey, but you're playing in New York. And playing for New York teams, it's not easy. Go ask the Mets. Go ask the Knicks. Heck, literally go ask the Jets even, right? Judge's record with the Giants is 7-14. and 1-4 One and four this season. Daniel Jones, he is expected to start this upcoming week. But you got a lot of injuries on the offensive side of the football. And you got some injuries on the defense. The other issue is this. The offensive line is bad. And I just do not see how the Giants can really rally some wins together because week six, they're going to lose to the Rams. Week seven, they're going to lose to the Panthers. They're going to lose to the Chiefs. They're going to lose to the Raiders. And then you got a week 10 bye. Okay, sweet. Oh, wait. Then you got to go up against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers on Monday night football. So realistically, you're one and four right now. You're going to lose your next, I'm going to guess, five games. So that it's not good whatsoever, especially in New York. And then you better hope you take care of business up against the Eagles. 
maybe the Dolphins. You're going to lose to the Chargers. You're going to lose to the Cowboys. Eagles, fingers crossed, but you're in Philly. Then you're also in at Chicago, and then the Washington football team. I mean, at the absolute best right now, I'm thinking the Giants win five games. And if you win five games, or if even if you go 4-13, and 13, I'm telling you what, man, <laughs> you're, you're not going to be in the Big Apple for very long. So here's the bet that I'm going to make. The Giants are going to lose the next five games. So, Marshall, I'm looking at you. Put it on Twitter. Put it on Instagram. Bring it on. Let's see how many Giants fans you can come get yell at me. And if you don't know where to find me, right here. I'm not hiding from anyone. At MitchellRens365. Bring it on. If I'm ripping on your team, if I'm ripping on your head coach, it's part of my job. And it's also part of your job to tell me I'm wrong. That's what Chat Sports is all about. Let's go to number one on my list. Urban, Meyer, Jacksonville. But Mitch, he just got a brand new deal this year. I, I, I'll tell you what, this has been an absolute disaster. Meyer right now is the betting favorite first off for the next head coach to get fired, so there's point number one. There's already reports out there that Jags owner Shad Khan has Meyer on a short leash, and there's multiple reports that he has totally lost the team. So not only has he potentially lost the team, he got a number one overall pick in Trevor Lawrence, who everybody thought, okay, this is the best quarterback prospect since Andrew Luck, and not that Lawrence doesn't look good, but I don't really think he looks as good. They spent a whole bunch of money this offseason on defense. Defense isn't playing well. And then, oh, yeah, I mean, you guys can use Google. Look up Urban Meyer. You know what he's in the tabloids now for. This guy is an absolute nightmare of a head coach, and I'm sorry. I don't really think that the Jags are just going to, I don't switch a light, and they're going to start winning football games because if they don't win week six up against Miami, Dude, uh, this is just going to be a really, really ugly slate. Now, maybe Seattle could be a winnable game because Geno Smith, the last time I checked, isn't Russell Wilson. But the Bills, no chance. Indianapolis is kind of a hard team to be able to figure out ultimately. But 49ers in Week 11, Falcons at the Rams, at the Titans. I will say, their final stretch of four games, they should hopefully be able to win one of those. I mean, you got the Texans at the Jets, at Patriots versus the Colts, like, Maybe one of those games, right? But I can almost guarantee you that every single game, every single game, they are going to enter as an underdog and probably by a pretty big underdog. So what about this, y'all? Does anybody out there think that the Jags are going to win a game? Are they going to win one game, right? Like This makes me think of the little Giants. We gained a yard. Are they going to win a game? I want you to type one for yes or I want you to go ahead and type that two for no. As much as I can't really sit here and say which game they're going to win, nobody really expected the New York Jets to beat the Tennessee Titans. But you know what? In the NFL, if you don't show up at least one game, you like to be able to think that teams can get you. Now, the Jacksonville Jaguars really haven't been competitive. Really only one game. That was against the Cincinnati Bengals, who I think are also a pretty good team. So for that reason, I am going to say yes. I do believe that they will win at least one game. I don't think they were as bad as the 0-16 Browns. And I know they are not as bad as the 0-16 Lions. So one more time, y'all. I'm going to go through these lists again. Ron Rivera, Mike Zimmer, Brian Flores, Joe Judge, Urban Meyer. The next head coach is to be fired here at Chat Sports. And today's show was presented by Magic Spoon. One more time, y'all. Go to magicspoon.com slash chat. $5 off your very first order. If you haven't tried it yet, what the heck are you waiting on? You made it this far in the video. Go ahead. Go to the link.